Okay guys, um I'm back. Okay guys, I'm back and um it's the continuation of the video how to make your own librarian's level. Um I still don't know why I don't get the new uh Google toolbar, but well I'll make that on my next video. Try refreshing it. You see guys, I don't know what's my problem. Uh, I'm gonna try to do it because this video, uh, my next video, about the Google Toolbar has to be uploaded today. So anyway, you guys, um, let's get on with the tutorial. So first, you have to go here, delete whatever you have, go to levelpack.com, type this, okay? Then you got it. Then you have to sign in with your PIN code, as I showed you. Okay. Okay, um, I've created uh, many level packs. My ID will be in the description so you can, so you can search my ID and uh, download your level. So this is gonna be um this is gonna be the time lapse of how I build a level pack a whole thing. So um so I'm gonna create a new one. How to add elements? I'm gonna show you that and then I'm gonna do my time lapse thingy. So first you would have to do um okay so you have to drag whatever you want get buttons bumpers. You got all this stuff. To add something, just drag it. You can duplicate it. You can do its action, position, and angle. Uh, you can also rotate the angle from here. Oops. Uh. See? We. Okay. So you can add all this thing. You got cannons. Okay, I'm gonna start my time lapse now, guys. See you soon. Okay guys, um, I'm back and I'm going to show you how to make a laser and the button do things. This is going to be another quick tutorial. Click new level. Hope you enjoyed my uh, time lapse. I didn't do very hard levels as you can see. This one just, uh, you have to put the ball here. This one, uh, you have to click the laser and it goes there. The cannon fires. And you know what? There. That should be good. So people can actually um, go to the restart thing. Uh, you probably don't know what I mean. So here the ball is, and I got some holes. I'm gonna make, delete that. Got uh, here things. And it's actually hidden over here. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so uh, let's say I add a door over here, like that. 
And you're gonna add a button. You're gonna click a green button. Click the door one. You're gonna click open. You can do open and close. And let's move that to to its uh, biggest, I think. Okay, 100 is good. Uh, and I'm gonna open it, not close it. Okay, so um, yeah, that's how the button. If you click the button with the ball, then I'll open that. And if you want the laser, let's say to fire this can. Click fire, and you're gonna add a laser, which is this. So then you're gonna click um, cannon one. You're say fire when laser one. Gonna save that. Okay, and that is how to make your own labyrinth two level. Of course, you can add these kind of uh, walls and there's fans. And you got all these resizers. You got merry-go-rounds. You have magnets. You got duplicators. You got moving walls. You have a slingshot, which I'll hide. Okay. So, um, what else you got? You got uh, checkpoints, bumpers. You got all these cool things here, experiment. Uh, I'm not really doing an in-depth tutorial how to make it. This is just a quick thing and uh, how for you to know how to do it. So I'll save it and I'll show you on my device. Okay, I'm not gonna show you on my device now. That's coming in a future video. Anyway, guys, um, my Angry Birds month has ended, so I'm doing Windows 5 weeks or something. And I'll be doing re Windows reviews and stuff, so, uh, subscribe!